So, because we didn't really get a chance to talk about Stuttering John on the most recent episode, we did do some updating on the bonus episode I did with the guys from Who Gives a Shit. But a lot has happened in the Stuttering John. I mean, a lot of episodes have been put out. A lot is going on. I don't know if you guys are up to date on what's happening with Stuttering John. Maybe you follow Dabbler's Anonymous. Just check in every once in a while, but I can't wait to uh, find out what he's been up to. First off, let's talk about Dabbler's Anonymous. Yes. The photoshopping that's going on in there is fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> I love it. I've seen some of the movie posters. It's yes. Terrific, yeah. yeah, it's really good stuff. So I, that's, a, that's a fun Reddit to get into. All right. So John was visiting his family in Long Island, staying with his mom over Christmas time. And he's telling the story about how he went over to his brother's house to watch football on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the day after Christmas we're talking about. And when he got home, he didn't feel well. I, you know, I drink a big um, diet, um, a, a Red Bull, like a diet. Why? <clears throat> Hang out, my brother. I try to eat a veal parmesan hero. I get through like half. I get home. I had. I was up from one o'clock to like eight in the morning with the worst headache I've ever had. I've never had a migraine. This was worse. Wait, well, how would I know I never had it? But yeah. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so bad. I go through my mom's pantry. She's got no aspirin. I'm going crazy now. So I just take, I start drinking her, her, uh, I don't know, cough, so whatever. You know, c- cough and cold. For a headache? Dicks or whatever. <laughs> Why? Just chugging the Then I go man. upstairs, I stop popping some of the aspirin, you know, or that's only supposed to be low dose aspirin, you know, f- for my um, strokes. <laughs> then I take a Klonopin. Oh, oh. I take a Klonopin. And my head is killing me. <laughs> I'm going. This has got to be the energy drinks because you don't think you have COVID. <laughs> so he drank a Red Bull before bed, got a headache, and then proceeded to put every single type of medicine in the house down his gullet. And he's like, I don't know why I didn't feel good. It was the veal palm. <laughs> <laughs> that stupid hero. I got to ask uh, Dr. Steve about that regimen to treat a headache. I've never heard of such a thing. God, his fucking breathing in that clip. He's so short with his sentences and very long on his breath. So, the next day is Monday, guys. Follow me. Okay. On Monday night, there's also a football game. Back to the brother's house. Now, remember, he didn't sleep well the night before. He wasn't feeling good. Uh, that night, I went over to my brother's to watch some more of the football. First, I go to the Pizza Co. Pop Pilato's Pizza Co. I grab a slice of pizza, and I start feeling like shit again, like dizzy. Like, I'm walking, and I just... I'm like, you know, I might, I might just go. I might just go back to my mom's. Then I have a change of thought. You know, I don't get to hang my brother that often. Now, keep in mind, I don't even think this is COVID. I just think it's it's me being wacky or something. You know, because you never think of it. You never think of COVID. That's all you think about. That night, same dick could not sleep. Could not sleep. No headache anymore. But could not sleep. Mine was wandering like the wild geese in the west. Oh. All right, so on Tuesday, he did a show from one of the bedrooms, probably his childhood bedroom, from his mom's house. And I didn't pull clips of it because it's more of a visual thing, yeah. but he's sweating his ass off. He's constantly wiping his face down, and he keeps saying, Actually, there's a, a pretty good super clip of it in the Dabbler's Anonymous. He keeps saying, I'm real sweaty. I just got out of the shower. I always sweat a lot when I get out of the shower. Like, what does he ever clean then? <laughs> it's getting so gross. Yeah. He takes a shower that gets all sweaty. He's self-cleaning. Ugh. But anyway, Sunday night doesn't feel good. Monday feels like shit. Tuesday does the show, is sweating the whole time. And then comes Wednesday. Turns out my niece had it. And I know I had it. But before you go, well, I shouldn't have flew. I took the test. My mom was so kind. 
Let's do it. Uh, my local pharmacy brought me a COVID test. And I took the test and I was negative. So I got on a plane. Okay. So he's convinced that he's sick. His niece is sick. Yeah. She definitely has COVID. She's tested positive. He was hanging out over at the house yeah. two days during this. He's not feeling well. But he gets on an airplane. Okay. But I know I had it. And my brother took the test. Positive. Of course, I got, I got it. I got it a lot quicker than he did. And it dissipated. Felt great uh, yesterday. And I feel great now. But when I was doing that show, my friends, I was still getting over it. That's why I was sweating so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why you were talking so much. And now, Broach, you would think that if you have COVID and you go ahead and you still broadcast, even when you have COVID, like I did twice, and you, you're still able to do that, don't you deserve something in return for doing that? I did the show on Tuesday, which, by the way, in my opinion, was one of my best shows while I had COVID with... Ron Filipowski, the man who found out who Jared Schmuck was, and Hal Sparks, and we essentially did a three-hour show. I only got two or three super chats. Let me tell you something. Huh. You should be ashamed. You should be ashamed yeah, right. of yourself for not giving him more money. That's a good deflection. <laughs> <laughs> While he's out there podcasting with COVID. So now people start giving him shit for getting on an airplane. Yeah, well, he sounds like patient zero. He was at a, he's enjoying an airport, multiple airports, an airplane, I mean. Hanging out with his mom, who's like 80 years and old. And he knew he felt like shit, and he knew he was exposed to someone who was COVID positive, and he was still fucking just going on because he's important and no one else is. Yeah, and he kept saying, and you wouldn't think that it would be COVID. Yeah, Why not? Everyone would. has COVID. What are you yeah, talking about? What the fuck, That's dude. the first thing you would think. Uh, Good Lord. See, I knew Jack me Hoffer. You think you had it and you still flew, dummy? No, I took the test and I was negative. You fucking asshole. This is what I knew. A guy like that, I already said I took the test before I went in the airport. <laughs> and I was negative. I think I still have the damn thing. Ready to roll. Negative. Negative. But I know I had it. I was watching Mersh on Nightwave play this clip, and he just crazy. He goes, "So John's doing well." Yeah, yeah. The guy had the negative test in his pocket. He's like, "I still have it. See, here it is." Who keeps their COVID test with them for days? He feels a little guilty. I think about God. having COVID and getting out of the airplane, as he should, as as he should. And I played this on the bonus show, but he even sang this really cheesy song, and he recorded it in the airport about having COVID. So this guy, Jack Meoffer, continues to give him shit about that. Jack Meoffer, you sang a song about it, having it while at the airport. Yeah, I had it. I didn't have it. And my best buddy has it. And my niece has it. And my brother has it. Hence, the COVID Christmas song, you freaking idiot. All right, enough of Jack me off. Goodbye, you don't listen. Now you're gone. Sounds like a troll. You don't listen, then you, you know, there's nothing I can do. I took the, that, I can still sing about, I'm, have yourself <laughs> a COVID little Christmas. Uh, what, I'm not allowed to sing about something I had? What I can't say I had a stroke either. I can't do a song about having a stroke. You fucking moron. That's a weird flex. What? This is how he's going to go down. You think I'm just unhealthy because of COVID? Uh, <laughs> you know what? what? Do you know how bad shape I'm in, you asshole? <laughs> okay. Oh. He's got you there. <laughs> Shot. Holy shit. It's fucking great. And the, the funny thing is, is that he's his most entertaining self when he's not trying to be. Yeah. Here he is blocking Jack Meoffer, who's making his show incredible right now. Yeah. Now, now that's over, man. Yeah. Unfortunately. Speaking of uh, trolls, someone named Corel Heberger. Huh. 
was uh, giving him super chats for some reason. Uh, good as gold. How are you, baby? Kinky Streets, Carol Heiberger. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And Adam Thoreau sent me uh, a bunch of clips of him um, giving me shout outs and things like that. He also put together some other fun segments from his show. So that was the link to donate. Feel free to super chat. It's got a very wet mouth oh. <laughs> on this particular episode. Oh. Uh, he put together a nice little super cut for us, too. Um, uh, 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 um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um. All right, so I have to, once again, give a shout out to this guy, Joe Namath NYJ. Mm. From the Dabblers Anonymous subreddit. A hero. Listen, I don't care if it's not even the real Joe Namath. Yeah. I still think this guy is also a hero. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. And uh, (laughs) he called this, John has show prep 19, a virus that prevents you from figuring out how to play a video. (laughs) Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. Uh, Hold on. Let me see if I can get this uh, link here, my man. Hold on. How do I get that? Uh, Hey, let's see if I can get it here. How do I get this link here? Damn it. I got to click on that somehow. I got it. Oh, what the hell? Why wouldn't let me cut and paste this David Golden? I can't seem to cut and paste. I don't know why I can't do that. Let me see. No, I don't want to delete it. I want to... uh, it won't let me cut and paste it. Damn it! Damn it. Time to get the job. I wanted to cut and paste this. Uh, I don't know why it won't let me do that here. All right, anyway, well, we'll, we'll you know, I'll, I'll play it for you next time. I'll find it. <laughs> old, old gravy Greg goes, he's talking to his right-click menu right now. <laughs> no, I don't want to delete it. <laughs> don't give me that option. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> so this is great, Gross. This is from a totally different episode. Yeah. But it shows you why John's so ill-prepared to run his show when he does run his show. It, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, I'm just pulling something up. Uh... Okay, well, first we'll start with this one. I want to just show you this, and then uh, I have to get the links. You know, I always bookmark on Safari, even though I do the show on Google Chrome. But it's, I don't know, it's just because I use Safari. I don't know why. Uh, Let me put that one out. Uh, Put this one. Uh, There we go. Okay, let me share that. So you see that yet? No, no, hold on. Okay, let me share it. This is the first one, but I, you know, you know, I, it's so funny, you know, I'm sure you do do clip, but we do work hard on, you know, on prepping and getting stuff what? all set up. <laughs> so he, he bookmarks what he wants to show on the show using Safari yeah. and then opens up Chrome and does the show. Do you know why he does that, Groj? I have a theory. Go for it. I think it's because Safari is the default browser. Yeah. And so when John clicks links, it automatically opens in Safari. So people send him links, and then he bookmarks it, and then he's like, oh shit, but I use StreamYard, which only works in Chrome, so he doesn't realize that you can actually change what the default browser is on your computer. Oh, why, and why would you figure it out? And why would you ever want to figure that and out? My advice is, do all your browsing on a Mac, but do your show from a PC. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yeah, it really just simplifies everything. All right, I apologize, I just have a lot to catch up on, but yeah. we're going to bang through these. This is Richard Ojeda's on the show, along with Benny Loco, Hello. who's a dynamic personality, I just have to say. And they have a new theory that I think is interesting. Hold on, Roderick Gary says, hold on, he, thanks for the five bucks there. Uh, he says, rumor is that somebody is paying these trolls to do that to you, Richard, Al, and me. I'm sure. you know, already yeah. sent a complaint to them totally, for you. That's yeah, no, no. something that they do. Totally I believe is. that. You know, somebody's been sending me some pictures that these people are making of me and you and Hal. So he's talking about these photoshops. People are sending those over to Richard to see that. So their theory is that someone's paying the trolls to do this. And I just want to say, like, let's pretend that's me. 
Let's pretend I'm your George Soros. I'm funding this entire operation against you guys. I was right? gonna say I've got it narrowed down to either Soros or producer Chris. It's one of the two. <laughs> producer Chris has been broke lately. Are you yeah. paying? Are you paying the trolls? That's why I'm broke. Is that what's going on? <laughs> I knew it. Now it's not just the trolls who are fucking over John and ruining his show. It's also Spectrum. Oh my God, Spectrum! I'm gonna kill you. Video and audio is poor. They're screwing me again. <laughs> you have to be freaking kidding me. Hold on. I'm just going to do uh, me a speed test here. Spectrum hates my politics. You have to be kidding me. Spectrum, I am getting so sick of you. Let's see. Right, let's do a speed test, yeah. Let's do the speed test. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. I'll be back. Here we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, that one's good. It's the other one I'm worried about. What do you mean? Wait, what? Let's see. Upload speeds fast. Okay. It is? All right. Sounds good. That's well over 400. No. Download speed. No, your upload would not be over 400. The download speed is non-existent. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Spectrum. You're fucking me again. <laughs> I think he has the two things mixed up there. Yeah. You wouldn't have a really fast upload in the slow download, especially if you're frozen while you're That's uploading right. your video. It certainly wouldn't sound like that. <laughs> it certainly wouldn't look and sound the way that it did, but, but fucking Spectrum's fucking him again, Crouch. Yeah. I, I love, yeah, just boomers diagnosing tech issues out here. It's Someone just... taught him how to do a speed test. I'm sure Hale did. Yeah. And now he's like, oh. Because people were telling him, like, John, you look like shit. We can't hear you. What's going on? Yeah. Okay, I'll go speed dust. Well, and I'll, I'll get to the bottom of this. When you only know the one thing, it's the solution to every problem. Right. You know what I mean? Not like, I don't know, rebooting oh. a modem or something that? like that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, just throwing it out there as a, something else you can try. But no, Spectrum's fucking me. He, he went on, dude, the guest comes on, and he goes, and I'm paying over $100 a month for this. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> right, just bucks. All right, so then, um, so he has this guest on right after he has the problem with Spectrum. And this is uh, Sherry Jacobus, who is a political pundit out of Washington, D.C. Now, John gives us an update on his plans to go to D.C. Mm -hmm. And you'll Everybody. never believe how he ends this. And I'm coming out there probably in February or March to interview somebody. You know, I'm going to do the Stuttering John 2.0 thing and try and get some politicians and, <laughs> you know, and, you know, and ask them some poignant but a lot of dumb, you know, ridiculous questions just, to, you know, just to really, you know, lampoon them. But, uh, you know, let's have a drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry. Uh, <laughs> Let's have a drink, of course. That was subtle. Of course he asked her out for a drink. What else is he gonna do? Is this guy a freaking moron or what? Yeah, yeah, I would say yes. All right, so in this next little clip that we have, John, John is deciding that he's gonna goof on Donald Trump Jr. Now, what Donald Trump Jr. did is he put out a video goofing on President Biden for agreeing with that caller, let's go, Brandon. You guys remember when this happened before Christmas? Sure. He was doing a live show, and a guy goes, let's go, Brandon. He goes, yeah, I agree, let's go, Brandon. And of course, the conservatives jumped all over this, and we're like, oh, what an idiot. He doesn't even know that means fuck you, Biden. So um, this is John playing Donald Trump Jr. goofing on him. And then he looks up. I mean, he's looking all over for notes. This guy can't even... Improvise. He can't even speak from the hip. That would be funny. I do three hours a day speaking from the hip. This moron can't do it without notes for a three minute rumble video. All right, a couple of things going on here. First off, you don't speak from the hip, you shoot from the hip. Yeah. You speak from the heart. Yeah. He always does this like chewing the shit. He always gets yeah. his metaphors fucked up with that. Oh. And then he goes on to say, <laughs> I'm able to improvise for three hours a day. John, you stare blankly at your guests as they utter nonsense. Yeah. And then you explain that somehow that's gonna take down the GQP. All right? Oh. You're not a guy who can just talk for three hours and be compelling. You stare at the chat and respond to people. Yeah, he can't even string two minutes together in coherent <laughs> thought. Even when, like that, he was trying to explain clearly 
I'm gonna go to Washington D.C. and interview politicians. He's like, yeah. you know, you know, you know, I, 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 you know. I, I, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll have some pointed questions, but then I'll also have a, like a jump question in there. But the, what's gonna happen? Do you want to get a drink? Yeah. Lampooning <laughs> makes me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> they have any balls in D.C. <laughs> All right, so this is great because John's trying to goof on Donald Trump Jr., but he's not good at it. This is not something that John's good at. Yeah. So he brings up Hale Sparks. He knows that Hale Sparks has already goofed on this video on his show. Listen to how John, first off, you're going to hear a little bit of the Donald Trump Jr. video and then John's brilliant analysis and drop-ins. And then uh, we get Hale involved. Joe Biden, the president of the United States, the man sitting on our nuclear coach, has no idea what the biggest meme perhaps ever, certainly the biggest sporting tradition of the last half a century, the newest one, going all over the country. He <laughs> Hell, have you seen this? I already did it on my show. Of course I <laughs> I, I, I knew you had, because I'm, because I had the army major, and I'm like, I know Hal probably has it, because I couldn't find it. Yeah. But, oh, come on, Hal, just, I, you know, I know you already did, but give us, you know, give us your genius commentary as I play this thing. <laughs> so John is nothing. He pauses the video and starts laughing out loud at what I don't know. It wasn't that funny. I mean... Well, we get into the politics of it, but John has nothing. He's like, oh, watch me goof on uh, this idiot Donald Trump Jr. And then he goes, all right, hell no, you, you couple with some yeah. jokes for this. Just do the thing you did on your show that was funny. Do yep. that on my show now. Yep, exactly. The other thing that's going on in John's world, well, a couple things. He had Michael Polpak on. The great. The great. Michael Polpak. Because, and I, I had these clips, it was just too long and boring. I'll just explain what happened here. He says, we have some really good news on the lawsuit with SiriusXM. Oh. And I was like, oh, I didn't think that was going anywhere. All right, yeah. what, what is this good news? Michael Polpak comes on to explain that the, it will go to the three-judge panel where they'll get a chance to make their case for this. The other thing that would have happened is it would have been thrown out. So he's excited that it didn't get thrown out, which I thought that the whole appeal process was that they knew that they were in the right. Now all of a sudden it sounded like this is more of a long shot that they went on yeah. early on, because all of a sudden he's like, yeah, so I mean, they didn't tell us to go fuck ourselves, so that's cool, it's yeah. still going. You know, we still got a shot at this, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. I thought that was funny. The other thing that's going on in John's world is he needs to figure out his schedule, because he has a new gig. Oh, and it's a writing gig. And he tells us about it. Now, can someone let me know what time, Pacific time, does Army Major Ojeda and Hal Sparks broadcast? Because I have that writing gig again for three weeks, starting on Monday. So I'm going to have to figure out times to do the show on Tuesday and Thursday. It's for, you know what, I don't care. It's, it's, well, I'm not going to mention the name of it. It's for an app. You know, I'm too old to write uh, for any late night uh, shows at this point. But, you know, I write I write a bunch of stuff for a phone app. It's like a trivia, a bunch of questions, but they pay me well. Anyway, I thank my agent for that. He's writing trivia questions for a phone app. For three weeks at a time? For three weeks. It pays really good, but for some reason it also has, like, specific hours that he has to now juggle in order to do this. Is he, like, punching a clock or something? Does this make any sense? This is a temp job. It's a he temp got, job. He got a temp job. You're right. Yeah. You're right. I mean, God bless him. You gotta pay those bills, but I wouldn't call that a writing gig necessarily. I would love to know when he says it pays really well. I'd love to know what that means. I'd love to know that. Yeah. That's a weird one. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. Well, he I needs the know. gig, Groge, because as you know, he's got the Invisaligns now oh. to fix his teeth. Oh, boy. And uh, that's what's wrong with it. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, that's fucking up some of his major talents. Court's closing in on Dickhead Jr. and Becky. Yep, that's the big news. <laughs> I can't do with these freaking Invisaligns on. Don't worry, you got the point. <laughs> <laughs> he can't do his famous trumpet sound anymore. 
He's nothing without a sound effects. <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> All right. So, John has an advertiser on again. This, this betonline.ag. No oh boy. And he's using that CLNS50 code. Yeah, that same fucking code. So I reached out to those guys. Yeah. Because they've been in contact with having WTP be on their platform. So I just decided to just shoot him an email and be like, it's, is John reading these? And I'm not trying to get him in trouble yeah, or anything. Of course. I'm just yeah, yeah, sure. I, I heard from an insider that they haven't been working with him for years. Yeah. So I think it's bullshit. I think he's just pretending to yeah. do it. Absolutely. He's also the worst at doing these ad reads. He sounds so put off by it. Yeah. But he knows all the right radio right. lingo and for going into an ad read crush. But first, let me just pay the bills, if you will. As you know, uh, that's a, you know, that is a radio term. So uh, let's see. Here we are. BetOnline.ag has you covered all season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before as football season continues to march to the playoffs. God, I wish he would kick the bucket, which is radio terms for kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta pay the bills, which is a radio term. <laughs> I don't actually pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good point. Not literally pay bills. I would never do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. All right, just a few more things out here. Uh, I want to remind everyone that John does not go to troll sites. He cannot be bothered with going to troll sites. He has on this guest Nina G. Nina G is a female stuttering comedian. Oh boy. And John asked the question he likes to ask of all the guests that he has on the show for some reason. Oh, like, you know, that's the thing. Like, I don't ever go on these troll sites, so I don't, you know. Like, who cares what these fucking losers think? Do you get a lot of people that hate on you? Oh, yeah, yeah, on occasion, yeah. Yeah, in my YouTube, you know. But I got j jokes about it. Like, the most offensive one was somebody said that um, that that seeing me do stand-up was the bravest thing they ever saw. Which, like, <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? Her version of Trolls is someone says that her trying to do stand up as a, a stutterer right. is the most brave thing right. anyone's ever seen. Right. Wow. This is very different from what John's talking yeah. about. Yeah. So, oh, did they Photoshop that? Yeah. No, they just said it was really brave. Like, the meat and telling dick jokes is not brave. There's lots others who risk their lives every day. It's not me. <laughs> no, but it is, it is funny. Like, how much time yeah. and effort these people put into hating on you? You know what I mean? Like, it, I mean, I mean, do you get heckled on like a lot? <laughs> it doesn't sound like John's listening, does it? No, not at all. I don't think he's listening or paying attention, and I can prove that he never does, because later on in this interview, he says this. Well, you have been charming, Nina. I enjoyed this conversation. Uh, I didn't know what to expect because this is the first time that we've ever talked. No, no, I, I was on your show a few years back. Were you? Yeah. Get the fuck out. Wait a second. Oh, was I with Royce then? I think there was another guy, yeah. Oh, wow. And it wasn't a video thing. It was about four years, probably 2019. And what was it, you know, and, and was the subject all about, you know, stuttering? <laughs> yes! <laughs> She's a stuttering comic! <laughs> Of course, that's why you had her on two years ago, Keep you moron. Right. And then turn right. <laughs> well, in his defense, it's hard to remember turn things right. when you're blackout drunk. Correct. That is that is very true. I like yeah. that somebody wrote, uh, Nina, the people dress up like cockroaches and taunt you on YouTube. <laughs> 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 oh, that's just me? Okay. Just curious. <laughs> so then, it's, John is obviously embarrassed by this. No, I didn't even know that we've ever talked before. I swear to God. I just saw you were on my Instagram. This is going great. <laughs> He's amazing. Let's get a drink. <laughs> he, is, he is my hero. Now, the one thing that we can say about liberal Democrats like Suttering John is they have a lot of empathy. And that's where the term bleeding heart liberal comes from. That's why they want to help out those who are less fortunate, and they want everyone to get along. If you're going to refuse to get vaccinated and refuse to wear masks, then you deserve to die. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> you deserve it. <laughs> if you don't live the life, wait, then I tell you to live, then die. Now, this gets a lot funnier. Tell me, Columbus, am I boosted? It's very, it's a good question. And I'm going to tell you something about that. <clears throat> now that I got the Omna, I definitely had Omnicron or whatever Omnicron. it is. Omnicron? <laughs> What's that? So, so, so do I have to get boosted anymore? I don't know. I got to ask my doctor. I don't know. Because now that the other two stopped Delta, the other one, so now do I even need to get boosted? <laughs> if you don't get vaccinated, you deserve to die. Did you get boosted, John? I don't think I'm going to. Oh, I'm not planning on it. <laughs> what a fucking hypocritical douche. This guy is truly really stupid. He admitted to selling 50 tickets and side splitters. Okay, 50 total tickets. Capacity. 50 total for all three nights? Well, no, side splitters was just a, a one night gig, and then he, he had two shows somewhere else, but I don't even know if that's true. I think the Friday okay. show was canceled. I don't know. 50 tickets were sold at side splitters. The capacity of the place is 300. What John said was, yeah, but the capacity was only 70 due to COVID. Now, how does that make selling 50 tickets better? So it was a third the capacity and you still couldn't sell it out. Is th that's all that that tells me. It's like, yeah, well, you know, that's what's COVID. It can be 70, which I don't even think that's true because Florida's open. I mean, the, the club can set that limit if they want to, but it didn't look like they were when you saw online buying tickets. They were placing everyone right next to each other. Yeah, if they don't have to, why would they want to? Right. right. Why would you, Why, if you were going to lie, why wouldn't you just say it, it was? we sold 50 tickets, but that's all they've allowed due to China virus? That's what he should have said. Yeah. They only wanted to let in 45 people, but the demand was just too high. Plus, why would you travel from LA to Tampa to perform in front of 50 fucking people? There's no way that's a profitable endeavor. There's no way it out. The tickets were like 20, 25 bucks a piece, maybe 35. I don't know. It's so you got silly. 600 bucks to, you know, because I assume the, the venue takes at least half. I would assume the venue takes some money. Maybe he had a, a guarantee, and now the venue hates him. <laughs> I don't know. It all seems very odd. But anyway, so Stuttering John put out a show, and I, I've heard that he took this down. I'm not sure if this is true or not, but when he was in Florida, he did a show, and he's taking a giant victory lap. He is so excited that he's working with a private investigator. A PI came to him and said... Listen, John, I'm going to work with you pro bono. I can figure out these trolls and figure out what's going on. John could not be happier about this. This just came upon me. The person reached out to me and said he was a private investigator. And guess what? He found out exactly who the person is that is taking my beer on the balconies and posting it on Reddit. We know your name. We know your social security number. We know where you live. I might divulge the state at the end of this show. Okay? <laughs> he might divulge the state, okay? So he's very excited. He has the guy's name, his social security number, and where he lives. And you might think to yourself, what would somebody do with that information? It's neat. It's impressive that you're able to find that out. And he answers the question. The person might even be here in the chats right now. But I'll promise you one thing. On Tuesday's show, that person is going to be blocked. So that person is amongst us right now. I think I I think maybe I even said his name. <laughs> I got your social security number and I'm gonna block you. So you'd have to sign in to a different account in order to watch my show. <laughs> what a moron. Yeah, it's, uh, I own a glass cock. She's devious. <laughs> I think the PI is is the one also trolling John at it's, this point, right? It's very possible because he's had attorneys troll him. It's very possible this person is also <laughs> trolling him. Yeah, I'm totally a private investigator. Remember when his only friend in the world was Chad Sumak? <laughs> Remember how that went? <laughs> Oh boy, all right, so John explains to all of us that he's not a bad person, and he explains how you know that. I'm a straight up dude. Thank you, Marshall Janulis, for the two bucks. I'm not, ask my mom, ask my sister. 
I'm not a bad person. I don't wish to hate on anyone. <laughs> yeah, and just ask anyone. Ask Artie or Anthony or me or Mersh or Howard or Shuley or Royce or Noel Kessler. Ask anyone if John's a bad person. They'll all tell you just a stand-up guy. If you have to say, ask my mom or my sister if I'm a good guy, that's insane. What's, what's wrong with this guy? That's that should be a, that's a given, right? You, if the the strange one is when someone's family hates them, right? Like, like Gallagher, right? <laughs> right. That's that's the odd man out. For most of us, our family think has a pretty good view of us, even if we're huge fuck ups. They go like, yeah, he's a fuck up, but, and then they explain away how you're a, you are an idiot. You know that I'm an amazing person because my mom loves me. No, what else and she do? tells me I'm a handsome boy. Yeah. <laughs> and any woman would be this lucky to have cool. me. She told me my podcast is the best podcast she's, she's ever heard. <laughs> she actually did not tell me that. <laughs> she's never, <laughs> never heard. Uh, all right. More threats coming from our buddy stuttering John, who's feeling very empowered with his information that he has. I thank the PI. Thank you very much. He's now working on some of these other people in the Reddits, some of these velvets, and some of these other ones, and... Uh, you know, stuttering wands and all these, all these guys. We're going to find out who you are, too. And you know what? I might not do anything. But if the hate continues, I don't mind if you hate him. When you start threatening me and my kids. Oh, here we go again. Uh, so he caught himself. If the hate continues, what? What are you, you going to do if the hate continues? Oh, but no, no, no. I mean, if you threaten my kids. Nobody is threatening Stuttering John's kids. Nobody cares about Stuttering John's kids. Nobody cares about that. We goof on you because you suck. How do you were not figuring this out yet? Why are you pretending that it's something more than just us all having a laugh at your expense? Why pretend that there's more to it than that? There is not. That's all it is. And I, I literally had no idea who Stuttering John was until I started listening to your show. Right. And and I don't I don't hate him, but I do like laughing at him. He's like a clown. It's he, right. He's he's like an unironic clown. And it's a lot of fun to talk about him. And this idea that he's going to find out who people on Reddit are. I'm going to get your real name and social security number. I got news. Anyone who's on Reddit who's been bashing John, I have good news for you. John has known who I am and where I live and the company that I own and all this information about me for years. He mentioned this years ago. He has done nothing. He will do nothing. There's nothing he can do. What the fuck is he going to do with that information? I will soil your credit score! I swear to God! What are you gonna do? Uh, so what he's a clown. He's such a clown. So he, he's, he's, he wants to be menacing and threatening, but he also wants to be secretive about who this person is. I don't know why. I don't know what the fucking difference is at this point. Because the on day Tuesday, of reckoning is coming. Yeah, right. Tuesday, I'm, I'm gonna block this person, but I can't tell you who it is. And John's so stupid. It's obviously a guy, but he doesn't want to give even that much information out. He wants to still keep it, well, it could be anybody. It could be a guy or, or a girl, but he keeps fucking up how he's talking. You know, thanks to this private eye, I now know who the guy is that's posting stuff on Reddit. And, uh, you know, guy or gal, um, he's been in the chats today, or she, and, uh, <laughs> but, but I know who he is, or she, where he lives, I know his social security number, he has, I mean, the guy gave me everything. His, everything. his social security number, or hers! I don't know how he identifies, but... <laughs> there, here's more of this, it's, it's fucking comical. He doesn't even know he's this funny, but he is. So this guy thinks it's okay, or gal, to keep posting it. And, you know, I don't get what he gets out of it, or she. He's from the uh, state of Maryland. Yeah, he or she is from the state of Maryland. <laughs> That's where they reside. And I won't give out any more so information and then keep right, uh, right now. Uh, you have seen him in the, right. or her. And then you have seen right. he or she in the chat room. <laughs> uh, but now the gig is up. Two things there. You've seen he or she in the chat room. John, that's not English. You have seen he in the chat room? I know he's Puerto Rican, but I'm pretty sure English was his first language. You have seen he or she in the chat room. And then he goes, the gig is up. 
It's the jig is up, you fucking moron. Fucking idiot. It's not a gig. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking funny. He's so proud of himself. Now, uh, he is obviously a dickhead. Uh, he or she is a dickhead. And I just want to say, I don't care how muscly he is. Uh, he or she, I don't care. His oh. social security number starts at the three, or hers starts at the three, <laughs> yeah. or his or hers. He's got a very small penis, or she does. Or she does. I don't want to divulge any more information. It's so fucking funny. And then people are in the chat, and uh, they're just, they're so all, all excited about this. They can't wait to find out who this is and what he's going to do with this information. Uh, Aunt can you have him arrested? I can have some of these people arrested, yes. I can. For what? And I might, I might do that. What, what the fuck? He's gonna have people arrested for goofing on him on the internet? I would love to see him try this. This is hysterical. I might do that thing <laughs> I'm lying about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's so transparent. <laughs> These threats never stop. This has been going on for three and a half years. Just threat after threat after threat. Nothing ever happens because there's nothing he can do. He's handled this wrong from the get-go and just keeps doubling down on how poorly he's handling this. And it keeps getting worse and worse. How do you not see this, John? How do you not just come on your show? If I was Stunner John, I would come on my show, the very next show, and just be like, guys, I'm a fucking idiot. I, I can't believe <laughs> I got butthurt over people goofing on me. I'm not the most talented guy in the world. I'm just trying to make a fucking living, trying to put on an entertaining show. You guys want to goof on me, that's cool. He can, he's, I, I don't even want to tell him this, because if he did this, it would ruin all of our fun. He's so fucking stupid. He does not know how to deal with haters at all, and he was on the Howard Stern Show. How is this possible? Oh, man. <laughs> but he's a good how guy. Do you get, how do you get to be an adult man at that point? I mean, like, I think of the way that I interact with my friends, and it's just... It's just us constantly tearing one another down. Right. And we went out. We went out for uh, to play pool and he listen to some live music this week. And like, and every time one of us would miss a shot, it'd just be like, "You fucking suck! You fucking loser! You are pathetic! You'll never make anything out of yourselves." I just, how do you, how as a person, do you grow up with other men and never like grow a thick enough skin to handle being made fun of and not just laugh along with them when you fuck up. Well, that's what I mean. I know Suttering John from him being on the Howard Stern show. He got goofed on all the time. How do you not develop a thick skin from that? I don't understand why he has this mentality and why he handles this the way that he does. It's just the exact wrong way to handle it. I'm threatening to have people arrested on Reddit? I mean, trust me, Reddit will... Take you off of their platform if you do even the slightest thing wrong. Reddit's yeah. all over that shit. You think you're gonna have somebody arrested for what they said about you on Reddit? That's insane. You're a moron. See, I get it. I get it with Opie, right? Because Opie was in charge of the show. Yeah. So every time, if if you piss him off enough, he'll just ax you from the show. So you have to pull your punches. But John was at the bottom of the totem pole, so everybody was was making fun of him. Did he just, like, go home after every recording and, like, oh, they made fun of me today on the show, and, you know, I'm working really hard, and I had this great bit? Yes. I, I, how how do you I live know that, like that? You know why I know that that's true? He still talks about the time that Howard said he should have his kid aborted. He still butthurt about that. Like, dude, that was a joke, you moron. Uh, all right, last thing I want to play from our, our buddy Stutter and John. Because not only is he going to have people on Reddit and Twitter arrested, but he's also going to go after YouTube. This is just the funniest fucking thing. As you guys know, there's a, there's a person who has been able to figure out a way to kick people out of John's chat or off of the stream while John's doing his show. And he or she. <laughs> here, yeah, here, sorry, he or she may or may not live in Maryland. So because John is a bona fide retard, he believed Hale Sparks when Hale told him YouTube has an algorithm that when you talk about right-wing things, will kick people out of your room or off of your stream. And it doesn't even make 
any lick of fucking sense that you two would just go in there and an algorithm would hear somebody would take out 20% of the people who are watching your shit. Does it, I mean, think about that for a second, John. Why do you think that's true? It's, it's not true. It's not what's happening. But John is sure that that's true, and he's got a lawsuit ready to go. As far as the booting goes, please complain to YouTube people. Please write a complaint. Complain every time. I take screenshots every time. I'm going to continue to fight the good fight. And if I have to, I'm going to call my attorney, okay, the great Michael Popak, and see what legal avenues I can take about how YouTube is booting my people on my show from my chat room on a regular basis. And I have issues with YouTube, and some of which could have legal ramifications because YouTube has got to stop this. Did he say he had issues with, with YouTube? It sounded like he said itches. <laughs> Let's hear that again. And I have issues with YouTube. <laughs> and some of should scratch those itches. <laughs> it's really... like when you have a scratch and a sneeze at the exact same time. Itches! <laughs> <laughs> of which could have legal ramifications because YouTube has got to stop this. And when I complain to them, stop giving me your automated answers There's and telling me that uh, there's nothing, they don't see anything. You are booting people. I have so many screenshots of people like Nikki B and Mark P and Jillian New York City 212 all getting booted nine times, 12 times. YouTube, I'm sick of this horse shit. It's almost like maybe YouTube has nothing to do with it, John. Maybe the automated response is because there's so many retards like you messaging them about nonsense that they don't want to hire someone to man those complaints. And they just send you a thing that says, no idiot, why would we possibly, what would be in our best interest to kick people out of your stream while you're streaming? We're YouTube. We make money every time someone super chats you. Why the fuck would we do that, you moron? And John just is not understanding us. So I'm serious. Stop picking on a little guy. Just because I don't have a million subscribers doesn't mean you should turn your head and allow my people to get booted from my chat room. It's BS, and, and at some point, you got to own it. I'm going to tomorrow, I'm going to file more complaints with you. I have the screenshots, and then we're going to see. If you if you continue to do nothing, then we're gonna have a bigger issue. Because you are owned by Google, and Google doesn't. I don't think they want this. <laughs> I don't think they and care. I, I might be a little guy. <laughs> but I'm not gonna get bullied by you guys. You know what I just realized? You know what I didn't have in that clip is John explaining why YouTube is doing that to him. Damn it! I, it must have been a different part of the show. He explains it's either because he's Puerto oh, Rican. And they're, they're prejudiced against Puerto Ricans, or it's because of his politics, because they don't like left-leaning politics, or they're uh, against stutterers. I think was his other claim. Like, good luck with that lawsuit. I'm sure that'll go a long ways. In his mind, right, he's talking on his stream, and he says something about like, you know, Donald Trump is bad. Yeah. And then YouTube, YouTube is scan constantly scanning his all the streams. Constantly, there's probably a. a 100,000 streams going on at any given part of the time of day. Sure. They're scanning all the streams at the same time. They hear Trump is bad and they say, well, we don't want to not allow people to hear this. But we only want to allow a certain percentage of the people available to hear this. So then they kick off 20% of his, of his viewers for a minute. And even if he was saying things that were more right-leaning, which is what YouTube bans from their platform, anybody who says that, you know, maybe this uh, vaccine that Fauci is trumpeting isn't the it's best way to handle COVID. If you say that on YouTube, you get kicked off. Yeah. And John is saying the opposite of that, and he thinks that his politics are what's getting him kicked off? Or, or a, like you said, a percentage of people? He's probably the dumbest person on the planet at this point. Can we all agree that Stuttering John is the, and I don't know, it makes me want to not drink anymore, because I'm like, is that what I'm going to turn into if I keep drinking Coors Lights? Because uh, you look at Maddox, of course, you've got a decent by your image. you got Maddox drinking your product, you got Stuttering John, they're both have lost their fucking minds. They seem like 
They seem like they're brain dead. Coors Beer, the number one beer for delusional former celebrities streaming on the internet. Take it from me. Taste stun, the Rockies. Stuttering John. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. Wow. I guess the, the other the other option for that is that the YouTube is constantly monitoring streams. They're like, oh, he got a little bit too Puerto Rican in here. <laughs> Kick out 20% of his viewers. <laughs> Does he not know you, that YouTube exists in Puerto Rico where it's all Puerto Ricans? <laughs> they think that they're, they're banning entire countries? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Uh, I know. What a, what a lunatic. We got Thanksgiving coming up. Mm. And so he's got to get prepared for Thanksgiving. Then I got to order a cleaning lady because my kids are coming over for Thanksgiving. And then I just realized my daughter is a vegetarian. So she's not going to eat turkey. And my and my youngest son, you know, he doesn't love turkey. I don't know what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving. But I got to order it soon. My oven's broke. Uh, I, I could use my neighbors. But uh, I don't know. All right, he already had professional cleaning people to his apartment recently. And he's unemployed. Of course he's unemployed. He's unemployed, he doesn't have time to clean his apartment. Sorry, oh, he has plenty of time to clean his apartment, he doesn't want to. Okay. So he's gonna have his kids over, so he has to hire a professional cleaning person to clean the thing. He doesn't have an oven that works. Oh my God. He's thinking he could borrow his neighbor's oven. On a holiday. On Thanksgiving, he's probably not even using it. Oh. And this fucking asshole has the nerve to call out other people. I stopped the Twitter feed because they're just a bunch of losers. You losers. Look, look, I love this one. I'm a Pisces forever. You're a failure at life. Okay, who's the bigger failure? The failure or the failure that follows him? No, he's trolling you, John. He's not following you. You are a failure. Yeah. In fact, it's worse than that. You have an oven that doesn't work. You live in an apartment complex that's a piece of shit across from a Home Depot. Your kids are coming over. You don't know what to make for them. You're gonna cook turkey, but your daughter's a vegetarian, so you're not sure if she's gonna enjoy that. You are the definition of a fucking loser, and you had a job paying you a half a million dollars a year for 10 years. You had every advantage in life to make this work. He goes on to talk about, maybe he'll make some rice. I was gonna make my grandma's Puerto Rican rice. I might do that. It's delicious. It's delicious, oh. but see, it has ham in it, and I don't know. I don't know if my daughter's gonna eat it, so I don't you know. You don't know if a vegetarian will eat ham. He's not sure if ham is on the list of things vegetarians oh, won't eat. It is, John. Your daughter is not going to enjoy that. Oh. By the way, in that, that clip I played before that, he's like the the loser, the loser who follows him. This they starts getting into like Star Wars jargon from that because he's such a big Star Wars yeah. fan. Yeah. Uh -oh. All right, a little Star Wars. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, jargon there, but as you can recall, who's a bigger, uh, let's see, uh, what did he say, who's a bigger loser? The loser or the one that follows him? I, I can't remember. You think Obi-Wan Kenobi said who's a bigger loser? <laughs> Do you really think that that's the word that he used? I mean, you guys are not Star Wars fans, but you know that Obi-Wan Kenobi would not use a word like loser in I'm Star Wars, guess. right? It's this! <laughs> Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows it? <laughs> wow. <What's the> <laughs> it's just like Obi-Wan said, that, yeah. that Carl guy can eat a dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like FDR used to say, don't fear anything, you pussy. <laughs> Right? He's so stupid. So, remember, his daughter's a vegetarian, and he's going through all the things he could possibly cook without an oven. And this is the first thing he thinks of. Yeah, Union Goons, stuffing and mashed potatoes. Ugh. You know, I might just make a beer can chicken and do just that. He's gonna make beer can chicken for his vegetarian daughter. God, this fucking guy. And he continues to talk about it, because he had Anthony Scaramucci on, and the mooch was like, I'm done talking to this idiot. So then John had to fill 25 minutes of time just talking to the fucking idiots who are messaging him. Oh boy. Which that is always fun. Yeah, that always goes well. So then he's later on explaining again what he's gonna make for Thanksgiving. I know, I gotta see what my kids want. Cause I can just go to the supermarket and get the pre-made sides and then just do a beer can chicken. Maybe don't host Thanksgiving. Your apartment is disgusting, your oven doesn't work, and you're gonna cook chicken for your vegetarian daughter. Just don't, just don't host. Yeah. Maybe it's just not your year to do that. Go pick up some impossible whoppers. And call it a day. Yikes. You know what I mean? Like, Seriously. Oh, God. Uh, a couple more things I want to play from Stuttery Judge. Did you bring any John stuff today? No. I, for, I, I tapped out. I'm like, I gotta. Yeah. I can't take him. Well, I, I, I will say, the star of the show today is going to be Patrick Michael. 
Oh. Because Patrick Michael is on fire. This is the golden age. This is the golden age of Patrick Michael. So we're going to talk about that for sure. But I do have to just wrap up what uh, Step Joe is talking about. And watch it live because there's a few on Patreon that are trolls. And, and they'll post it up on Reddit. So I'll leave it up for a little while. And then I'll make it private. So, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to... You know, I don't. You know, I'm not going to give it away for free when the people who are, who are subscribing me to me on Patreon and on YouTube that this is something that only they should get. So this beer on the balcony shows what he does yeah. is he live streams just like he live streams everything else on YouTube. On YouTube, so isn't that the site that's publicly accessible? You can like go to it and watch stuff from most libraries in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's interesting. Yeah. That he thinks that Patreon only content is content that you put out for free, but then eventually make it so that it's not available anymore. Yeah. Patreon's usually the opposite of that. You get the early glimpse of something. Oh, you get the episode before everybody else does. This guy goes, everybody gets the episode, but if we want to watch it again, that's fucking amazing. You have to subscribe to Patreon. And I love the awareness of what's going on on Reddit. I'm sure Hockey Puck's telling them or Nikki B. Yeah. Oh, I got a note from Heather W. I get a lot of notes from Heather W, but I bet, yeah. <laughs> I got, we're pen pals. I got a note from Heather W. Could you could you ask her about? No, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, I could really use a blowjob and like two thousand dollars. Could you put in a good word for me? Will you get but, a COVID test and wear a condom? I know uh, that those are her rules. I mean, <laughs> I happen to know uh, that for three thousand. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry. So Can she I messaged see? me that Nikki B, one of his moderators, it has cancer and is going through chemo, and he had a show where. Nikki was talking about that in the chat room. He was going, oh, best of luck to you, Nikki. Yeah. The next day he has a show, and he goes, where's Nikki? Where's Nikki B today? That's how oblivious he is to what's going on. Like, even the people who like him and he's friends oh, with him. Yeah. He just doesn't give a shit about him. Hey, Hockey Puck, John's not a nice guy. What are you doing? Man. What are you doing with this guy? Because uh. Hockey Puck seems like an okay kid. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why he's hanging out with John. It's not that good. One person that's not hanging out with John, and I got to give her credit, a woman named T Tammy Pascatelli, a name that's been said way too many times on this program. Yeah. It's very odd. WATV All-Star. But as you know, when he does beer on the balcony, he always wants to get a comedian oh, to yeah. be the guest. Which is insane. It's insane logic. I do a show for just my Patreon supporters. There's a dozen of them. Yeah. And I need to book a guest for it. Yeah. That's the show you should do solo. Yeah. An ex or with Chad Zubach. An exclusive beer on the balcony. I am. I will have a comedian on it. And Tammy, as you can tell, you've been dodging me too long. So hopefully I'll have Tammy on. Sounds like Tammy's winding up. Uh, She's dodging him. Yes, yeah. smart. Uh, I'm going to reach out to Kevin Brennan, Adam Hunter. I'll have, you know, I will have a comic on a Wednesday for beer on the balcony. Uh, maybe uh, Chad Zubach. Oh, oh, maybe Chad uh, Zubach. So we asked Chad. If he's been in touch with Stuttering John. Yeah. He hasn't talked to him in months. Oh, okay. So John's just throwing this out there. He's trying to book a show live on his show. Yeah. Hey, if anybody else knows someone who's famous, maybe you can reach out to him for me. Oh, talk about saying the quiet part loud. Like, you know. <laughs> what is so wrong with my phone? She keeps, my, my texts keep going to red and she won't respond. There's something's wrong here. Like, no, you're being avoided. Yeah.